What's up guys, welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Dylan, saying that he wants us to get the KSP done on D Machine, but we can only use three attachments and three perks, and we're not allowed to go into Penthouse. And since I don't really use Penthouse anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and say no Wonder Fizz, because that's where it's located. I cannot step foot into Penthouse. And we have our KSP leveled up here. I actually think I lost a level. I had it at level 50, it's level 49 now, but that shouldn't matter too much. Uh, we have all these attachments on it that we need to take off, because we only use three now what are the three most important attachments that we need i'm gonna go ahead and say that our barrel is super important and i'm gonna put on the task force barrel next i think the second most important attachment to have is a large mag or at least for camel grinding it is so i'm gonna pick the 48 round mag and we only have one more attachment spot here what do i go with an optic will just make it a little easier for me but we can still get around with iron sights should we use a muzzle for more drop rate no i think we should use a body attack attachment for a higher salvage drop rate. So I'm going to use the mounted flashlight. Normally I would go with the ember sighting point, but I don't have any other attachments to make up for the, the negatives or the cons that an ember sighting point would bring with like sprint to fire and ADS speed. This is going to be tough. All right, let's look at our camos real quick. I'm almost done with rotten. We got a lot of this done on stream. Shout out to those of you that come by the streams and watch us get these leveled up. But we were trying out onslaught. Onslaught's far and away the fastest way to level up weapons. I was using outbreak for the longest time and it just seemed a lot slower recently. So I tried it out and it's been pretty good but we still have over a thousand critical kills to get a thousand pack-a-punch kills vintage is done funnel's done topo's done and we still need to unlock and complete infections so we still have a bit to do today also i'm gonna be going into this with ring of fire oh and real quick let me do this let's save a custom mod here we'll name this one early round save the mod and we'll switch this to our cavalry lancer barrel and save this one as a late round and save that as a new mod so that way even though we only have three attachments, once we get into those later rounds, we have a barrel that can help us with armor damage. Anyways, let's hop in D-Machina and get this thing done. Okay, so I've been trying to think of what perks I'm going to use. Because he did say we can only use three. And I know for sure one of those perks is going to be Deadshot, because that's going to help us just tremendously with getting critical kills. Because my aim is awful. But I think I might go with Speed Cola, and then maybe jug but jug isn't as helpful in cold war as it is in older zombies games maybe quick revive just so i don't have to worry about like salvage and everything and getting like self revives back if i go down plus i'll get like faster health regen we could go with death perception if we want to go the salvage route because that'll help us get our weapon to gold tier since we already have it purple tier from completing all the easter eggs and it would help us get our armor up faster and i think it gives boosted armor penetration i think actually we might we might go uh death perception actually we can't use death perception at all because i can only get that from the wonder fizz and i'm not allowed to use that so there's definitely a speed cola machine on this map there's definitely a dead shot machine on this map and i think i will have to go with quick revive i don't see any other option that can help us out too much because we don't really need stamina up too bad we're not going to be running around and all the other effects with stamina up is like no fall damage no like sprint fall off like being able to shoot and throw equipment while sprinting we're not going to really need that too much so yeah i'm, I'm gonna lock it in dead shot speed cola and quick revive is what i'm going with and i can't go into this area at all but when the wonder fizz does come back i might go in there for a thumbnail let's grab our loose change from quick revive i gotta remember where all the perk machines are at i'm sure it wouldn't be too hard to find oh nuke damn so I know dead shots in one of those lab rooms, and I think speed coal is just in the one opposite. I think I'm always grinding next to speed coal. I don't know how I don't remember where that is. Dementia is a real thing. All right, after like about a round of saving up some points, I think we're gonna make it all the way to power. Go ahead and open up that door for me. Thank you. We'll go left door first. Give me the loose change from speed cola. Pop that open. Do I have enough money to open this next door? I hope so. There's been so many times that I've played these maps and I still don't sit there and think and like calculate the amount of points I need actually get through everything i oh we are still broke damn oh double points that'll help out i wish you still got points for like each bullet that hits a zombie each time you do damage that was a fun way to make money in zombies good way to manage it too especially when ammo was like such a concern and you needed to figure out if you need to buy ammo or just buy another gun or pack a punch or something we don't really have that here in cold war but what we do have is enough money to open the store and hit the button let's hit the left button whoa what was that the second i try to jump over there a zombie is crawling up and it pushed me all the way back i've never seen that before all right well let's throw on our second button and let's head into our anomaly okay where's our pack a bunch part at i always gotta say it every time i'm on d machine and they completely fumbled not using the dark aether as much 
Like, this being the only time you actually get to go into the Dark Aether is, like, criminal. And the fact that it's not permanent either, like, you have to go and hit each anomaly. Like, this is just so beautiful. And they don't let you have it. Give me that. And let's reassemble this bad boy. Okay, I think after that, this door over here should be open now, right? It is. Perfect. So we can come into here and say what's up to Deadshot. Come here. Most important perk for this whole grind. And we have it. Is there no zombies? There's not a single zombie here. Oh, wait, I hear one. Here he is. He's just taking a while to spawn. What's up, pal? I think I'm going to do the jug Easter egg or the bunny Easter egg, whatever you want to call it. The orb Easter egg. Coffin dance Easter egg. Plenty of names for it. But we're going to do it and not grab jug. I just want the extra salvage you get for completing it. And we get to skip over the dog round. Just after I shoot this last orb. There we go. Later, pups. Now, while they're doing their thing, I'm going to go ahead and start breaking some crystals. See if we can get anything good out of them. Oh, armor. Okay. We take those. Here's my one time in penthouse. Just to get the screenshot for the thumbnail. Ooh. And now we're being sent back. Okay. Anything good for me in here? Just some salvage. We'll take it. What weapon did it drop? Is that another KSP? No, it's XM4. Now we're going to do most of our grinding just in this little shower room. I always forget about megatons. Ooh, instantly slapped them. That was like two bursts here with a ring of fire. Non pack a punch KSP. It is only round eight and they will get a lot stronger, but absolutely just eviscerated it. And it's already fully dead. All right, looks like we got enough money to finally pick up speed cola, so we'll grab it. And we have enough money to get quick revives. So I'm gonna run up there as well. And then we'll have all of our perks for the day. There we go. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna be like our second to last Dark Aether before I go on vacation. So I already have like those videos pre-recorded by then, hopefully. Hopefully I can get them all done. But only for this video and the next video, we'll be taking suggestions. And we're actually getting pretty close to being done with every weapon on this account. That'll be two accounts that we've almost fully filled out with every single zombies came on every single weapon, which is kind of insane. I can't believe we've already like almost completed two whole accounts. So I really want to get started on doing that challenge series. I, we've already put out one episode of us. I uh, getting like a world record amount of downs in a solo game actually don't know if it's a world record i didn't check it but it seemed like fun oh there's rotten camo just seemed like a fun challenge so we went ahead and did it let's go ahead and grab pack a punch real quick quick pack one but even if we run out of camos to do i don't think i'm gonna get a third account unless i get like bored in the middle of like modern warfare 2's life cycle or something and we want to try something out but I think we've exhausted camel grinding here in zombies for a while. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop making Cold War content. I don't want you guys to think that even if I don't have camos to get, I'm just going to stop playing the game. I think we're just going to do challenges from then on. Like, we'll still be making content on it. We'll still be here. And I'll probably make a few guides, too, now that I've done it all, like, twice. Okay, let's upgrade our armor a little bit. We get to level two. Can't really upgrade anything else. And let's go ahead and throw on cryo freeze. Make it a little easier for ourselves here. And now I'm going to go ahead and throw out my prediction to when I think we'll have all the camos for this weapon. And I think it's going to be at like round 37. We only have a thousand crits to get a thousand pack a punch kills. We just started on pack a punch crits. We're not too far on. So I'm locking it in round 37. We'll be done. I don't know why the KSP decided to be the one burst weapon in this game. That sucks. I feel like every other burst weapon goes hard. Like the M16, the carve, even the AUG just tears. And this is just kind of eh. I mean, it's only round 12, so it's still like doing well. But I just know once we start seeing armored zombies, we see megatons more often. I'm going to get slammed just trying to defend myself with this thing. Another corrosion camo. We're finally starting to get our jackrabbit medals now. And we finally got enough for pack two. So let's go ahead and grab it. There we go. I forgot to show pack one, but this is what pack two looks like on the KSP. The coverage on this gun is just atrocious. It's awful. This one of like the base game weapons. So the coverage on it on a lot of those were not too great. But uh, the first pack of bunch camo don't matter too much anyways. I think it looks like dookie. But this thing looks pretty decent. It looks all right. I mean, coverage aside we're just strictly talking camo here it's it's decent oh here's our first real test we don't have a ring of fire and we have a megaton here how much damage does this do base oh it's actually pretty good at least for right now once we start hitting the big boy rounds like i think round 30 and up we're about to see a huge drop off on this gun because smgs already fall off pretty hard once you start getting to like armored zombie rounds because just there's not that much damage output from them but i feel like the ksp is just especially weak i feel like i'm trying to speak it being weak into existence i feel like i, I came into this thinking it was weak already and i think we just have one zombie left in this round i need to add a little bit of spice to this i'm putting on the rampage inducer and if it gets to the point where they start forcing me out of the speed cola room i'm just gonna train around spawn because right now it's a little too easy for me, I think. Let's go ahead and up the ante. 
Oh, damn. The zombies are already here. I always forget how fast the spawns are with that on. So let's grab armor level three just to make sure we're safe. And we're still just slaughtering. Uh-oh. Until we start running out of ammo. Oh, there's our threshold camo. So we're at 1,324 crits. We'll be done with those. I wonder what's in the rampage inducer just to piss all these zombies off. What makes them so much faster? And so much meaner. They probably show them like Vanguard Zombies trailer to these guys. And they're like, look at how they're misrepresenting us. Okay, there's our conviction camo. We're all done. But I'm starting to see the Megatons resist the KSP. We're at the point where we're doing not that much damage to them. It's still manageable though. Oh, jeez. We're, we're getting slapped over here. I almost just died stepping out to grab some salvage. Oh, we have 46,000. Let's go ahead and try to get pack three. Oh, and it's dog round easy. Okay, let's grab that. Do we have enough salvage to upgrade anything? We had 620. I think we might be able to. Or is it 1,000 to get the gold? It might be 1,000. Let's check. Oh, yeah, it's 1,000. All right, let's see how long pack three can carry us. I'm just slandering the KSP for nothing. Oh, Megaton is tanking damage now. I got a ring of fire. I can't let this guy get close before he splits. Get the blasters and bombers out of here. There we go. I'm getting no crits with this thing either. Since it's like a three shot burst, I'm not too sure where the first shot's landing. I feel like I'm only getting crits when they're up close. I guess that one was a crit. It's just such a toss up. Okay, armored zombies are seeming to look like they take three shots to kill right now. That is not good. That's only gonna go up and up as the rounds go. Like, look at this guy. One, two, oh, three, four. I think one of those missed. Please don't kill me. Stay away. Oh, we got enough salvage to get this thing to gold now. Hold on. I completely missed the armor stand. There we go. Oh, jeez. Get back. Let me back into my hidey hole, please. Thank you. Oh, no. I'm completely out of ammo. I forgot what not having mule kicks like. Oh, go up the portal. Okay, where's ammo? Where's the ammo crate? Right here. We're going to have to start purchasing some ammo. I didn't even think about mule kick when I was thinking about what perks I needed to use. Not like we could grab it from its own machine anyways. You forget how useful those ammo drops are until you don't have them. Oh, there's our chemical camo. All done with our pack-a-punch kills. Okay, round 29. After this, the whole meta changes. Oh my god, that armored zombie just took five shots to kill. We might need to switch to our armored barrel. But after this round is when you see a dramatic increase in zombie health. And you start to see that pack three is more of a, you know, a baseline standard instead of just being overpowered against these zombies. Oh, no. I have no ring of fire and I have an armored zombie and a megaton coming for me. I think we got the megaton to split. I'm throwing down a decoy so these zombies can get the fuck out of my face. Okay, yeah, stay here, I guess. Don't go to the decoy. I'm going to have to molly these guys, actually. Get a little damage on them. There we go. That's one. That's two. Oh, yeah. Armored zombies were just tanking shots. That was like five, six bursts on them. Still eating them. All right. I am switching us to our late round barrel now. There we go. Seeing way more armored zombies than I'd like to. And with the amount of ammo that we're going to need with not getting it from mule kick, we need to do as much damage to those guys as we can. Oh, armored zombies are two shot kills now. That was with ring of fire. So that could be influencing it. Probably is influencing it by a lot, but that was a huge difference. Okay, 65 bullets. Where's the closest armor or ammo? Where is it? Uh, I think it's somewhere over here. Did I pass it? Oh, no. And there's a Megaton and I have no ammo. Oh, everything's crashing down. There's ammo. Got it. Get out of my way, zombies, please. If you could. Ooh, ring of fire now. Okay, this is a bad angle to try to stop a Megaton. Oh, don't come in here. You stay outside. You stay right at that door. Might have to use this insta-kill. I hate using insta-kills while I'm grinding camos because I feel like it messes with my timing with my ring of fire, but definitely need it for these megatons. Woo. I think we're in the clear. I think we're good. We fought our way out of that. Ring of fire. Use it, please. Woo. 20 health, 20 health, 20 health. Stay back. Oh, is that a max ammo? Oh, I need that. I'm running low over here. I'm tossing a decoy. Get over there. Go to it. Leave me alone. No, 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 no going down. Fuck. What did I just say? Did I or did I not say no going down? These zombies just don't listen, dude. Okay, so now this is where the problem is. I only have quick revive to get back up now. No elemental pop, no electric cherry to help me. My armor's getting low. But the good thing is I basically don't lose all my perks. I just have to buy Deadshot back. Which is weird because I think Deadshot was the first perk I grabbed. I know Quick Revive kind of slides its way over to the first. Just to make sure that you still have it if you go down with it. But 
curious to why speed coal is still kicking around. Okay, all right, all right, zombies. Enough playing around, guys. This is all fun and games. Why don't we just cool down here for a second? I need to buy myself revive back. I still like a lap around the map. All right, on the decoy. Ooh, that bounced off a zombie. Okay, self revive is back. Ooh, zombies are back too. Get on the decoy. No, we just got this self revive. Shit. Okay, maybe I should dwindle down the round first. I'm just gonna train here and spawn. We'll try to get this thing done by training. It's taking a turn for the worst here. And they are fast as shit too. Stay the hell away from me. Let's try another decoy just to get you guys to stay in one spot. Dwindle the horde down a little bit. And then we get back to moving. There's still more zombies spawning in this round. Oh yeah, there is. Ooh, not gonna go down here. I'm not dying to this. All right, let's try this again on the decoy. Dwindle you guys down. Ooh, that's good for crits too. We'll take that. Try to take a few more out. We'll leave like a few here. That way we can go back and grab the rest of our perks. Oh, they also have armor on the ground. Zombies, if you could just get, get away from the armor real quick. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, we can outrun these guys. We just left all the slow ones. I think they're actually respawning because they're that slow. Speed Cola is back. Deadshot, come home. And can I be fast enough to grab this self revive and not die immediately again? Yes, I am. Let's go. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Made it through. We're doing it. We're living. Oof. Last zombie here. I'm starting to think maybe I should switch my field upgrade to like Tesla Storm or something and then train the rest of the way. I think we might have to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw on Tesla Storm. We'll finish the rest of this up here. Probably should have bought decoys before the round started, but we'll be fine. We have a stun. Oh, there's a stun on the ground that I can try to loop to. Please don't despawn on me, stun. I'm going to need you. There it is. Got it. Okay, so from my times of training here in the first room, going for a few round 100s, doing random challenges on this map, I know that I shouldn't loop around that tree. That is the tree of death. You always loop around the first tree. Never go up those stairs. It'll always lead to death, or more likely than not. You kind of just got to loop. Make sure they're all in a nice contained space and get kills where you can. Okay, let's try to tighten up the horde. I'm going to go a little slower. I'm going sideways through this. Let's get a quick stun in here. That's all going to be a lot of points. A lot of zombies getting stunned. Ooh, there's a lot of crits too. Damn. Uh, let's go for another stun. Take out the plague hound first. Probably get like six kills here because of that delay. Oof. We're so close to getting this thing done, too. We just need 100 more crits. I'm out of ammo. Okay, good thing we moved up here, actually. I would definitely be going down without that ammo. We can just run past this crate. Come on. There we go. All right, Tesla storm time. Let's just try to rack out these zombies. Okay, that worked decently well. Not bad. These rounds are definitely going to take a little longer, though, but we don't have that many left. Okay, let's try to grab decoys or something while it's dog round. There we go. All right, round 37. This is what I predicted us to get out on. I think we need 1,300 crits. We actually could get out right here. Oh, I forgot about Megatons. I almost went a whole round in bliss without remembering about them. Oh, shit. Going around the Tree of Death. That's why it's called the Tree of Death. I almost got blocked off there. Woo. That was close. Hey, Megaton, you need to follow the train. You, you can't be here. I just need Tesla Storm so I can take him out. They okay, throw down the decoy. Try to get a few kills here. Zombie, go to the decoy. What are you doing? Let's do a quick Tesla storm on this guy. Get him to split. Damn, that took a lot of shots. Grab a few crits while we're at it. Oh, there's Gold Viper. We got it. Right on round 37. Exactly as predicted. I'm kind of clairvoyant. And our exfil window is gone. So we cannot exfil. Let's just take out this Megaton and then let the last, rest of the zombies eat. Zombies on the decoy, actually. Eat a molly if you're just going to be dickheads. Same thing goes for you, Megaton. Uh-oh, I'm dead now. Let's self-revive real quick. Let them finish the job. Knife the Megaton to death. Oh, no, you just clap me. Let's see if it would have been possible for me to get back up. Oh, there's a Plague Hound. Yeah, it would have been. Easily. Quick decoy, quick molly, most effective monkey bomb there is. All right, Megaton, take me out. I'm done. I got my camo. I want to get out of here. There we go. Slam me right into the ground. Goomba stomp me. We had 2,049 eliminations, 1,321 crits, zero revives, and five downs. All right, let's go ahead and check out what these mastery camos look like on the KSP. Here's Gold Viper. Oh my, the coverage is gross. Who put this in here and thought, yeah, that's good. We want like, I don't know, 30% of the gun covered. The rest can just be the default weapon. That is awful. 
horrendous coverage. Plague Diamond always looks good though. They had Plague Diamond down from day one. They knew exactly how the coverage should look like with this, but I don't know why they fumbled on everything else. It's like they made Plague Diamond first, and then for the other camos, they just removed the, the purple metal and put it as like default, which is stupid. And then Dark Aether, just as bad as Gold Viper, I'm not gonna lie. There's no coverage on this thing at all. Do any attachments fix this? Let's see. The barrels do not. The sound suppressor looks cool on it. Or muzzles, I should have said. This is the barrels now. Nothing changing. Body attachment, I don't think anything changes. Underbarrel, basically the same as well. Any magazine coverage? Nope. Handles, all just looking like tape. The stock, though. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, well, let's go see what it looks like in game. All right, well, here we are in D program. One of the cooler looking maps in this game. But this is what the KSP looks like with Dark Aether. A quick contrast from this map. Sick looking map with awful camo coverage on this gun. My Lanta, this is bad. Dark Aether still carries though. Dark Aether looks so good. One of the best mastery camos out there. Ooh, but damn, they really made the KSP as ugly and in, as unusable as possible. They really just did not like this gun. They came into this game like, yeah. Uh, make the KSP just ugly as shit. Thanks. But I mean, we got it done though. I think that was our last last SMG. But really quick, look at this map. With like the floating arcade machines, worlds being meshed together. I forget how to get up into that area where it's like blindingly white. Oh, it's through the red door. Yeah, look how it is in here. Oh my god. Can't even like see the weapon. It's like a Gmod map. Anyways, there you have it. We made it through only using three perks. Three attachments, never stepping foot in the penthouse except for the thumbnail. But that was a little more difficult than I was expecting. It's always like the, these challenges start out like, oh yeah, I can do this. And then we start hitting to like round 30 and you're like, oh shit, this is this is real. But make sure you leave your suggestions down below of what weapon you want to see us do next. We have about this video and then the next video before I go on vacation. And then all those videos will be pre-recorded so we won't be taking suggestions for those. But I will be going back through the comments and whatever weapon I do, I'll show a few that have it like named in there. But I think that's going to do it for today. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please start subscribing for all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And if you feel like it, go ahead, head on over to my Twitter, drop a follow, mean a lot to me. But uh, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.